oh. what I'm saying? What got you to the point where you wanted to where you wanted this kind of relationship thing? Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I, I think I was at a point where I just wanted somebody to be like my homie. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. someone I can love and be the homie and I can work and she's funny so I could just chill out. So I wanted that so much. Uh -huh. And I thought she was the one to do that or was the one I was willing to stay stubborn and sacrifice whatever I could to keep that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's just like well, it, it was that it was that I, I she, wanted it. She get you or did you get her? Did she come to you or you came at her? I, I came at her. I came at her. Right. I got I caught her in the in the DMs just talking the uh -huh. vibes. Yeah, you know, everything's great in the middle. And then things just start. They just started unraveling. And then <laughs> things, like we just yelling and fighting each other. And then you just like, all right, well, I guess that's just normal. And it's not. Now, was she around comedy a lot? Was <laughs> she around fight, comedy a lot? Right? Not really. She was only in comedy for like three, three years. Oh, like, she three, did comedy. Years. Yeah, she did come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. She did like open mic, like open mic shit. Exactly. Oh, okay. So like she was doing like open mics and shit. Nothing crazy. Um, so yeah, man. I uh yeah. I and I again I think I you know me and Dante, we had that talk at the yeah. stand where I was just like, she wasn't even a problem, bro. I had to go back to the childhood. Like my mom is yeah, yeah. my yeah. mom is like the conditional love, you know what I'm saying? Right, and right, right. My dad I, my dad never really raised him because <laughs> Dante had a great scenario. Like that nigga was scared of your mom. That nigga was running too. So yeah. ain't no, ain't no real man yeah. ever told me like, yo, this is not how the way you're supposed to be talked to. This is not how a woman's supposed to talk to you. If she does talk to you like this, screaming at you, yelling at you, to belittling you, then there's something wrong with her. It ain't you. You gotta get out of there. Know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah it, it was the same reminiscent, bro. Like it was black and white. How like. The way she would yell at me is the same way my mom would yell at me, like leaving voicemails, cursing me out like I was her ex-boyfriend. And I'd be like, yeah. uh, my mom tripping again. Here she is. But that right. ain't normal. Right. <laughs> but I was yeah. I grew you think up with it's that normal. shit. You thought it was normal because that's I what you were accustomed with that. to. That's that's my cold. Right. If if the sky says it's supposed to be blue, I'm going to be blue. Right. So that's what they call your love. <laughs> that's your love language. My love <laughs> language. Abuse. That's right. <laughs> abuse. Emotional abuse. Man. Hell yeah, man. I remember all them voices. I'm still scared to this day. Like my mom leave a voicemail i'm like is this bitch really gonna curse me out right now like mm -hmm. i can't believe like yeah she was back in the day like why the fuck i gave you the car you always fucking out there doing some fucking shit the fuck you supposed to be home and it hangs up i'm like did i fuck this lady she's <laughs> tripping right now <laughs> <laughs> she in her feelings man she bro bad, she but bad. but like even i, and then, I you looked know, up but you marry your fucking you know you marry your mom like that's right? the epitome yeah that's the epitome of 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 what there you see is. as femininity yo do you know what yep. i mean it, yep. it's it's and so it feels right so yep. that abuse feel even though it's wrong it just feels right it feels that, a, that abuse that control mm -hmm. telling me what to do that, that's like yes, jamaicans that felt, and, and peanuts in home. a bottle bro yeah it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah, like, you stupid it's a fish to water man i felt <laughs> home with her but like none of that shit was like, yeah, you felt home, was, but not happy because you weren't yeah. happy when you were a kid. Either. You we're forget that part about either, it. Right? Right. You forget I that mean, part. Hey. You're like, this feels like home. But I forgot why I left home was to get the <laughs> fuck away. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I uh, had to like undo all that last summer. And uh, therapy is a shit, man. Any niggas on here, go, go to therapy, man. Push ups ain't going to work. Uh, you hear that, Andre? <laughs> you sound personal. You talking about me? <laughs> I can't no, just do push ups till my gonna, pain go away. I'm <laughs> gonna do 200 push ups no. as soon as he get off. Yo, yeah. you're gonna, you gonna have tears running down your pecs, your great pecs. Oh, <laughs> that's funny as shit. Ah, oh, tears running down your pecs. Uh -huh, like, boy, this, yeah. this nigga cry, crying all over his abs. This nigga right here. <laughs> But Yo, the other part yeah. is that for Nori, like I can see why that sneaks up, especially for comedians, is because you don't realize that all your friends have been taken away from you because you're still out. You're still out. You're allowed to go out in the yard like it's like a prison, but huh. you get to go out <laughs> in the yard. You get to do shows. So you think you still have the same life until you stop and look around you. Like, but oh, Harry, man, here's all my the friends are gone. Nah, but here's the trick, though. She came with me all the fucking time and there were oh. times i'm having we having fights and arguments i'm like my nigga i'm just gonna go do the show come back i don't know why you don't want me to go i mean you always let me go before i don't know why you won't let me go bitch i just want to go work and come back i don't yeah. know what the problem is uh but I, so, all right so then go then go ahead and then make me feel bad and then if i do go 
And then it's nothing but text messages and arguments. And so she's just like all up in the head. So it got to the point, bro, where I was just, I was two different people. Like my piece was on stage. Mm. But in the back of my head, I knew like you gotta um, get when, off. I, when I get when I got to get off, I'm going to have to deal with her passive aggressive. Like, I guess you have fun. Who's there? I saw one time Nori ran the light for three like, and a half hours. He wouldn't get off bro, the stage. I, I, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I brought a goddamn sleeping bag on stage. Yeah. <laughs> And a piss jar. <laughs> He's like, I'm up here for the I I'm up here for the duration. <laughs> Wolf, of, Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking leaving. Yo, why don't you got an electrical stove on that bitch? Yeah. Bro. He's got a yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Can so she just, <laughs> Nori, just flashing the light. Nori, I see it. I can't go. Please. I don't want to go. I, gotta talk I got to one this more bitch again. I got one I, my more. My phone joke. is vibrating yeah. too. I know there's stuff on there. <laughs> it's, it's 27 text messages. Dang it. Well, that shit says a strong 12. You like 12. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> we got 12 paragraphs. <laughs> You can't even always see the amount, the number, but when you see a twelve, you can see a twelve. Yeah, man. When it, when, way back, a big red twelve mm, over your messages. Yeah, green. When you got double digits in the text message, so like sometimes it, it I ain't just, gonna lie, no, I smelt it. I know, I smelt yeah, it. Yeah, man. What did you see, Dante, that let you know that Nori was in trouble? It was just too goofy. It was because first of all, let me tell you something. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen Nor <laughs> be cold, like <laughs> cold, like oof. <laughs> like I, it's hard to get me get a chill. Uh, I've seen Nori be all in one sense. They like like where a chick was like trying to tell him what to do and blah blah, blah trying that to down. control him, and he was like he was like Nah, baby, you gotta understand. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Eagles gotta fly. Damn, hilarious. <laughs> he but was like, Why? Why Eagles was he gotta fly, baby? <laughs> 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 it was sound effects and shit. Bird game. I just came out the camera on bird game. <laughs> well, I seen him be ice cold. Yeah, especially man. when he put my fur on. When he put my fur on, he was oh, big. nigga, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. So I that was before man. this chick, though, that you were ice oh, cold. Oh yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So, uh, yeah. This was before, so but I'm saying Nori I've had seen skills. Him. Nori had some game. Oh yeah, and nigga. Everybody gets got, he baby. Still got got. Everybody gets got. Yeah, man. That mama trauma pulls up on you. <laughs> mama trauma is hilarious. That yes. mama trauma pulls up. That's what happens, man. Mama After trauma. a while, you know, that's whatever. Yeah. That yeah. means this chick is good. She's good. Yeah. And the child's like, I want love, man. Why am I not getting love? And everything you give is not is not satisfying. And so it just finds a chick that reminisces or remembers him. But it's which, at mom. least what you what you perceived which, it was. Exactly. You know? But I perceive what love is and yeah. it's not. But yeah, exactly. So young man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.